take the dogs out of the kitchen, we're gonna make some hush puppies. What's up, y'all? Millie Pertu here. Today we're gonna make some delicious, light, airy, fluffy, deep fried cornbread. They're called Hush Puppies. I'm gonna show you step by step everything from the light batter to a great honey butter dipping sauce that's gonna accompany these light, airy bowls of corn. We're gonna start making our hush puppies. We're gonna add all of our dry ingredients to the bowl. So we already have our cornmeal, baking powder, and in no specific order, just get the dumping. We have some sugar, all-purpose flour. Give it a mix. Matter of fact, we're just gonna go in here with our fingers. Okay, so we have all of our dry mixed. Let me add a little pinch of salt. Can't forget the salt. The salt brings all the flavors together, right? And now we're gonna add our wet ingredients. We have our onion. And the onion adds moisture. I, would, I wouldn't really leave it out, but if you're not an onion person, you need another level of flavor in it, so I would totally try it. Just get it really fine if you don't like to bite into onions. The butter, buttermilk, and our egg. All right, so we're gonna mix this all together. You know what will be really good in this? A little bit of cinnamon. This is just the base, and you can always add things to it. Look at how quickly this came together. We have all of our dry, and we're gonna incorporate our wet. So now that we have all of our ingredients combined, what we'll do is we're gonna refrigerate this because we want all the ingredients to come together, and we wanna make sure that baking powder does its thing, and what happens is it'll tighten up a little bit, and we'll start to have these little air bubbles. It'll be perfect for frying. So now that we have all of our ingredients combined, we're gonna scoop by either by the spoonful or the scoopful into some hot oil. Again, about 350, 375. We do not want our oil super hot because what will happen is we'll have this beautiful golden brown color on the outside and it'll be raw and runny on the inside. We don't eat raw egg. So you can either use a two spoon method, make some little quenelles, or just drop it in, make like drop biscuit consistency. But in this instance, we're gonna make them pretty because we have in company. See, I got my church clothes on and we're gonna get the frying because we want it to look cute, okay? All right, so we're just gonna drop them. And again, you're gonna get the scoop as close to the oil as possible because we don't wanna splash. And same method like you'll fry anything else. You don't want to overcrowd your pan. Even though we did use room temp ingredients, we don't want them to stick together. We don't want to bring the temperature of the oil down. And so what I like to do is I like to come in with a fork or a spoon and you're going to slightly move them around and constantly flip them because they're going to float. And just take your time with it, just flip them. And this will be a few minutes. We're gonna get them golden brown and they're gonna be super delicious. So while our hush puppies fry, we're gonna make a really quick dipping sauce, condiment, whatever you wanna call it. Cause you can dip or spread. So we're just gonna take some unsalted butter and some honey. And we're just gonna mix it together. See, look at how quick that came together. We didn't even do anything. Threw together some ingredients in a bowl, mixed some honey and butter together, making snacks and stuff. Oh, that's good. Okay. Things that honey butter are delicious on, you can put them on biscuits, put them on waffles, French toast. You guys get where I'm going with it. Honey butter is a universal spread for a plethora of things. But today we're gonna to put them on our hush puppies. So based on your scoop size, this will make on average 11 hush puppies. That's not a serving size, that's 11 hush puppies. So if you wanna eat all 11, feel free to eat all 11. If you want to eat two, feel free to eat two. You know what you like, and I'm not gonna dictate how much you eat. 
make sure you do it in moderation. So you know that your hush puppies are done when they're floating and they're a deep golden brown color. So this will take probably about six minutes or so, but if you're uncertain, feel free to take one out, pop it open, just make sure it's not wet in the middle. Okay, so now I have myself a baking sheet lined with paper towel. Look at how beautiful they look, golden brown. The beautiful thing about frying southern food is that you can reuse the oil, you just strain it, put it back in the pot and reuse it. Amazing. So as always, we're gonna hit our hush puppies with a little salt at the end. And if you wanna make these on the sweet side, you can totally do cinnamon and sugar. And that's what it is. Just gonna get them in a nice plate because we're gonna have some company. All right. Look at how beautiful that is. Batter, crispy, crunchy, and Feel the inside is nice and moist. It's golden brown on the outside. And let's just go in for a taste. Get a little bit of honey butter on here. Slather it up. Mm hmm Cute. See what we working with. Make sure the seasoning is right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm talking about. Sweet, crispy, crunchy. Slight taste of onion, but the onion brings like another well-balanced flavor to it. Look at how quick and simple this was. In this chapter, I showed you the ingredients, the batter, how to fry it, and our sweet little ending, honey butter. I'm hoping that you try this. If you make modifications, please do it. Feel free to do it. I showed you the technique. The beauty of soul food is making things your own. Why? Because you are the embodiment of infinite possibilities.